everyone. Uh, my name is Stephanie, and before I properly introduce myself, I'm going to show you two pictures. I want you to take a look at the screen here and think about what you see. I look at a nice sea that looks like a farm. What about this picture? What does that look like to you? To me, this looks like a lab. I'm here today to tell you that these two things are in fact much, much more similar than you may realize. And in the future, the former is going to look a lot more like the latter. So our farms are going to look a lot more like labs. I'm Stephanie Michelson, founder and CEO of Gelatech, and we are revolutionizing the way that we make proteins. We are a B2B biotechnology platform company, and we are using cellular agriculture and biotechnology to produce proteins in a more scalable, sustainable, and efficient way to basically future-proof the way that we get proteins. We're founded in uh, 2020, mid-pandemic. Uh, we are nine full-time employees based in Raleigh, North Carolina, although I am from Denmark myself originally, so not too far from here. We have raised just under seven million US dollars in total throughout pre-seed and seed and we're solving some of the world's biggest problems. So when I say proteins, you're probably thinking things like food and beverage, protein as in meat or dairy, but proteins are actually much, much broader than food and beverage. We also have individual proteins that can have applications in uh, makeup, personal care, important uh, therapeutic applications, biomedical applications, R&D, materials. And the issue is that currently, we rely on either uh, getting proteins from animal agriculture or uh, from tissue from humans, for example. Um, and animal agriculture is an issue. It's actually destroying our planet. Uh, so animal agriculture is one of the major greenhouse gas emission contributors. And the worst part is, not only is it destroying the planet, it's also not really doing a good job. So it's not sustainable. It's not ethical. Consumers are looking for more clean label products. It doesn't offer that. It's also not reliable. So when you have to rely on these massive farms, thousands of different individual animals, you get a lot of reliability in terms of the yield of pro protein that you're getting, also in the purity, the quality, which in, the, in return can actually affect the price or the cost. So you see a lot of discrepancies here. And it's also not scalable. We are using far too much uh, resources and land to just even grow crops to feed the animals to then get proteins from them. Luckily, with Gelatech, we are solving all of this. So by using our technology, um, we are able to produce proteins that are sustainable. Um, it is also ethical because we don't have to harm or kill animals. It's also reliable because when you grow proteins in the lab, you can control the whole process from start till end. So we have a much more kind of linear relationship between we input X, we output Y, and we can consistently produce the same yields with high purity, high quality proteins. And lastly, our technology is in fact scalable. We do everything under one roof, both from growing the proteins to extracting them and purifying them all in one roof, instead of having farms, slaughterhouses, processing plants, so it's, it's much, much more scalable. To give you a quick overview of what the process looks like, obviously this is a very, very simplified version of what a technology actually looks like. Um, but in short, uh, we start by isolating cells. So we take a little skin uh, biopsy from, we've done it from humans, uh, from pigs and cows. A one-time biopsy, we then isolate cells, we immortalize those cells, which means that the cells they're now immortal, so they will grow forever, definitely. And then we can optimize the conditions in which the cells grow. So we have been able to more than 15-fold increase the amount of protein we're getting out of each cell. So we can tweak the process and thereby make way more protein out of the input that we're putting into it. And then similar to brewing beer, we kind of brew proteins, and then we extract and we purify we process it, and then we end up with proteins that are true bioidentical to what we're currently relying on animal agriculture for. So this way you get a more sustainable, ethical, and consistent protein production process without all the negatives. The first protein that we have successfully developed is collagen. So collagen is a very unique and highly complex protein. It's also very high value. It's a big global market. It's actually growing very rapidly. 
and it has applications everywhere. So whether it's collagen or it's derivative gelatin or collagen peptides, you'll find it in things like bone broths, yogurt, gummy bears, dermal fillers, um, tissue regeneration, wound care, pharmaceuticals, materials, R&D, personal care, and more. And right now, the only way of getting this protein is either from humans that decide to donate their body after they pass, um, or through animal agriculture. And that's what the first protein that we have successfully developed. It's not the only one we're working on, though. Collagen, we are currently in the aggressive scale-up phase. So we have taken the process from bench scale, now through pilot, and then eventually we're going to go commercial. For collagen, we have both human, bovine, and porcine. We are also working on three other proteins right now to really expand the protein portfolio and become a market leader for producing proteins in a more future-proof way. Hopefully now you kind of understand the picture I was trying to paint around why in the future our farms are going to lo look a lot more like labs and why it actually makes way more sense to use much less resources, less time, less land, and be able to produce proteins in a more consistent, reliable, sustainable, and ethical way. In terms of what next for Gelatech, so we are scaling up our technology, we're expanding our team. We are also expanding our uh, portfolio of different proteins and cell lines. Uh, we're also building partnerships currently and are seeking new ones. So if you're currently struggling with um, having to rely on animals or humans for proteins, come talk to me. Um, we'll be racing our Series A next year. So if you're an investor, also feel free to connect with me. You can scan the QR code. You can also take my email. Happy to have a chat over a coffee or beer. Um, but that's it for me. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to me.